is about how we can express the mathematical relationship between the true and the engineering stress and also we'll do that for the true and the engineering strain. So welcome to my channel once again. This is Prof. One. So with this, what's to start with this? Someone may ask, what is stress? Stress is the load over the cross-sectional area of material. So let's get into it. So for us to find the true stress, as in the true stress is the load over the instantaneous cross-sectional area of the material. Well, I'm going to break down this video for you to understand each of this. So, with the true stress, when we are trying to prove it, as we know that the true stress is the load over the instantaneous area, we can therefore do some assumption. As in, if the load over the instantaneous area times the original area over the original area, with this assumption, is still going to hold because this can cancel this. And it means that P over A I is the same. So this is just an assumption we are doing to prove the mathematical relationship between the true and the engineering stress. So we can also express it like this, which will give you the same thing because the P over the A naught A naught can cancel, which will always give you the same as the load over the what? Instantaneous cross-sectional area. So this is just an assumption that we did to help us prove the mathematical relationship between the true and the engineering stress. Now, when you do that, you know, for this, the load over the original cross-sectional area is the engineering stress. So the load over the cross-sectional area is what? The engineering stress. And with this, this is, we are doing, um, we are trying to prove the relationship, that's the mathematical relationship between the true and the engineering stress. So at the end, you will find engineering and what true stress in this. So now we know that the load over the original cross-sectional area is going to give you the engineering stress. Then we try substituting it. So we know that the true stress is equal to what? The engineering stress times the original area over the instantaneous cross-sectional area. Now, with this, we are going to use doing deformation volume constant. The instantaneous area times the instantaneous length will also be given or will, will be equivalent to the original area times the what? The original length. So from this derivation, we are going to therefore make AO over AI the subject, which is the original cross-sectional area over the instantaneous cross-sectional area, the subject. And when you do that, we are going to have that the original cross-sectional area over the instantaneous cross-sectional area is it going to give you the instantaneous length over the original length. So we have this as I'm therefore we are going to what? Replace this of AO over AI. So from here, we are going to replace here. With this, we therefore change it to a um, the instantaneous length over the original length. Now, one may ask, what is instantaneous length? Instantaneous length at that instant, what to be that length? So let's take a specimen, and this specimen has an original length of L naught. And after deformation, we we saw that there's a little extension. So after deformation. We saw that there's a little change in what? The length. So when you add this, the original length plus the change in length, we'll get the instantaneous length. So from this assumption, we now know that Li is equal to what? L0 plus or change in length all over the L0. So we have it here. Therefore, we try breaking this down. We then know that L0 over L0 plus what? Change in length over original length. And this it's going to cancel this, giving you one. And change in length over the original length will give you the engineering strain. So at the end, you are going to get 
the true stress is equal to what the engineering stress bracket open one plus the engineering strain. Okay, so in uh, manufacturing, engineers don't use the true strain. Sorry, the engineers don't use the true stress, but rather they use the engineering stress. This is because when manufacturing, they will check about the true stress of the material when applied to that material it will fail. So therefore, for them to do it, always the engineering stress is lesser than the true stress because the true stress is the original stress of the material at which when you apply to the material it will fracture or deform therefore when they are manufacturing they will use the true stress so that when that stress applies to that material it will not fracture now let's move on to the mathematical relationship between the true and the engineering strain so with this you'll be able to find the formula for finding the true and the what engineering strain as we know that the engineering strain is what the change in length over the original length so we have but with this for us to find a true strain we need to use a limit that we are going to integrate change in length over length so we are going to use this limit li to l naught now so with this we are going to apply something in integration so let's try to break this down when we break down this will be 1 over l times the l the limit li over l naught that's li to l naught so 1 over l is going to give you length so when you do that you're going to get length l and we are going to take the limit of the instantaneous length over the original length so we are going to put this one inside so when you put it inside we are going to get that the engineering or sorry the true strain is what length of the instantaneous length minus the what the length of the original length and with this it's, it's we can apply the rule of natural logarithm so when you apply that when you are subtracting its division so we are going to get that the true strain is equal to what, the length of the the length of the instantaneous length over the original length now we are going to use using the formation volume constant from here from the previous video uh, from the previous video you watch the, the uh, about the mathematical relationship between the true and the engineering stress you can see this that it was applied so we know that a naught over a i is equal to a i over a naught so with this you are going to what apply this inside now we can also derive this by we have another formula for finding a uh, formula for finding the in the true uh, for finding the true um strain we can replace this with this so we can replace this with this because they are equal so with the engineering with a true um strain the true strain is what the length of the instant uh, the original area over the instantaneous cross-sectional area and it's the same as the instantaneous length over the instantaneous length over the original length so we should note that it can be replaced since during for a volume deformation constant that happens so let's continue from here so with that the two uh, the two strain will be what the length of uh, we try to break down open the bracket right when you open the bracket from the previous one you watch with the true and engineering stress you know that this is going to cancel this and we know that the l over l naught is the same as what the engineering what strain so when you do that correctly you're going to get length bracket open one plus the what the engineering strain as simple as that this, so this is how we can prove the whole thing as very simple thank you very much for watching this video i hope you like it please subscribe and like